Hi there, I'm Professor Blackmore and welcome back to my channel. And if you like to schedule ProfessorBlackmore.com to add some spice, engagement, and interactive and excitement to your next MCLE, CLE, or attorney prep conference, please contact me at ProfessorBlackmore at gmail.com. And today, I'm going to unlock all the secrets about how you can make a OneNote mediation notebook. And today, I'm reporting to you again from inside of my Professor Blackmore's OneNote Civil Law Firm Notebook. And if you like to purchase a copy of Professor Blackmore's pre-made OneNote Civil or Criminal Law Firm Notebook template, or Professor Blackmore's pre-made mediation notebook template, please visit me on my website at professorblackmore.com and I'll place a direct link to my templates in the description section of this video below. And included in my OneNote templates, you'll find all of the sample documents that you'll see in this video today. Now, in my last video, I took you inside of another section of my OneNote civil law firm notebook, namely inside of my civil case file for the Parker v. Prince case. And I showed you how to use OneNote together with PowerPoint. Instead of going through the expense of purchasing very costly programs like TrialPad and Trial Director to streamline your virtual depositions and trial presentation of witnesses. But today, I'm going to remain in my Parker v. Prince case file because after that deposition that totally demolished the defendant's case, we're now ready for mediation. And since we had such success from using our OneNote deposition notebook, it would only follow that we will use OneNote to create our mediation notebook for this case as well. And so let's jump right in. And so the first thing you want to do is you want to click this plus notebook symbol here to add a new notebook. If you want to make a new OneNote notebook template, I'm going to do this in two ways. So that's the first way by adding a new notebook all together or if you want to just simply add this notebook as a new notebook within your OneNote civil law firm notebook in your Parker v. Prince case file, you can add a new page section and add the notebook right in your case file. So we're going to do two ways of doing this. The first way you want to just add a new notebook here by clicking the plus notebook sign. And you want to give your notebook a name. So I'm going to and then once you give your notebook a name, you want to go ahead and click create notebook. Now, when you do this process, you want to make sure that you're in the right account that you have set up in OneNote, the account where you want this notebook to be reflected. Once you have that established, then you want to go ahead and click Create Notebook. Now, when that notebook is created, it is going to sync immediately in the cloud and open up this new notebook in your OneDrive, which you get along with your free OneNote account. And so this will be able to sync immediately. All of the information will sync immediately in OneDrive so that you can access this information anywhere you are or anyone who is sharing this notebook with you will also be able to have real time access to anything that is added to the notebook. Now, if you want to just create this notebook in your case file that's already in your OneNote law firm notebook, 
you can go over to your civil case files section. That's how I have my law firm notebook set up. You may have yours set up a different way, but depending on how you have your notebook set up, then you can add either a new section or a new uh, page section. And so let me show you what I mean when I say that. So I'm going to my civil cases here and I want to make sure that I'm in my Parker v. Prince case. Now, as you can see, I can retract or expand this entire case file. And so when I say page section, I mean you're going to make a new page within your Parker v. Prince case file that's already created here. And I'm going to go down to the place where I want to create that. And so I want to create this new notebook in my case file right here underneath my demand letter. So I'm going to go to the place where the demand letter is and I can do this in two ways. I can either press the plus page sign here or I can go to the demand letter, right click on it. and click new page below. And it'll add a new page right below. And so what I wanna do is I'm gonna delete this one. And so then what I wanna do is I want to give this a name. This will be my new mediation notebook for this case file. So I'm gonna name it mediation notebook, Parker V. Prince, all right? And so now that is how you add a new notebook right in your case file. Now I'm going to go back over to the notebook template version. And as you can see here, I have this cover for my mediation notebook. And so if you want to create a nice cover for your notebook, what you'll need to do is add a new section. Now, one of the things that you'll also notice is that when you create a new notebook, it'll create automatically one new section. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it. But to create a new section so that we can create the cover, you'll just click this plus section sign here and you'll name it. And then if I want to give this a different co color, I can right click on it and then click the color that I want. Now, most of the time you'll find that some of those colors will come from the color of the notebook. So I'm gonna change the notebook color as well. So now we have our cover, a place to put our cover. And then you'll also need to name the page for your cover. So as you can see, I'm just going to mirror the notebook that I already have made. And so I'm going to name that page mediation Parker v. Prince. So I want to go ahead and copy that. Then I can go here and name this page. Now to create this cover, I'm simply going to use the cover that I already have here. And so to do that, I simply just need to unlock this picture because right now it's locked and I can't do anything to it. So to unlock it, I right click on it and then I click set picture as background and that will unlock it. So then now I can right click on it and click copy. Now I'm going to go back over to my test mediation notebook here. You want to place the cursor in a place where you want the cover image to be displayed and then you want to click paste.
And so to lock this in place in this particular spot here, I want to go ahead and right click on it and click set picture as background. Now, since I already have this on my clipboard, I'm going to go over to the version that I have created in my civil law firm notebook within my civil law firm case file. And so here I'm now back at my mediation notebook. And so to create a new page subsection here, I just simply want to either right click on it and click new page below, or I could click this plus page sign here. Once I do that, I want to right click on this again, and I want to click this make sub page so that this will now be a sub page within my mediation notebook that I can refer to later on when I want to come to this mediation notebook, everything will be in its own paid section. And so then I can go ahead and and paste my cover image here. Now, sometimes things will pop in in the way that they were copied. So then I can just go here to page with and it'll snap the view so that I can see what I'm working with. And then I can go back out and name this page section here the exact same thing. So I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm showing you how to make a notebook template from scratch. If that is something that you want to do so that you will have your own template that you can go back and refer to each time and you'll have a template that has never been uh, edited or manipulated in any kind of way that you can use as a guide to create mediation notebooks in your upcoming case files. Okay, so now as you can see here, I have my mediation uh, notebook here within my case file for the Parker v. Prince case. And so it's right here in the case file right below my demand letter. Now I'm gonna go back out to my notebook template version so that I can finish recreating that cover. And so as you can see, I have this cover that has also the name on top. So I'm gonna copy that, but you can create this yourself by simply going to the place where you want this information to be reflected. And you can just start typing whatever you wanna type there. You can change the font. And you can change the font color as well. If you would like to do so, you can then position it wherever you want. But I'm just going to use the one that I already have. And I'm just going to paste it there. And reposition it. So that is how you create your cover. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the version that I have created Okay, so now I'm gonna go back over to my notebook template version to create my first mediation notebook section. Now you can create whatever sections you want for your notebook. I always like to start with an index so I can quickly access the different parts of the notebook using the index. So I'm going to just do the same thing we've already done. This will just be repeat over and over and over again of these steps. So to create this index, all I need to do is go over to my test mediation notebook and create this plus section so that I can create a new section and then I would name that new section index and then I would probably name this page also index and I'm also going to create an index in my case file version of this notebook 
So to do that, I will simply now just press plus, plus page, and it will create a new page, a new sub page, because I'm already in the place where the previous sub page is created. And so I can just name this index. Now, I will come back later on and work on the index after you have all of your sections created in your notebook. So then you'll have everything created and then you can just load all of the links that you'll need to create your index. And so now I'm going to show you some of the sections in Professor Blackmore's pre-made mediation notebook template. And so you'll see that I have my index here. And with this index, I can use this to go to any of the sections. So I'm going to click view and I'm going to click page width so that we can see that. And so if I wanted to go over to the police crash report, for instance, all I have to do is click this on my index and it'll take me straight away to that particular section in the notebook. And so that's why I like to create an index. Sometimes when you're in that mediation, things can get a little hyped up and you just need a place where you can just go to just click the in the index so that it can take you straight to the document that you need to access. So now some of the other sections that we have here are our mediation event and calendar information. So any type of calendar information, driving directions, hotel reservations, if you would need to have something like that, or any other type of transportation, flight, or rental car information that you may have. And then there's a space here for any miscellaneous event information. You'll have a place here for your mediator information. So if you want to have a tab for your mediator's CV or any other background information, and uh, once you pay for that mediation, you may need to, or you may want to have uh, something to certify that you have made all of the payments that need to be made if that turns out to be an issue once you arrive at the mediation. You have a place here for your mediation notice. You have a place here for any medical bills and medical records that you may have. Uh, you have a place here for your IME if this may be a case where an IME was conducted. You have a place here for any liens or other out-of-pocket expenses, uh, lost wages. You have a place again here for your police crash report, any witness statements, any photographs that you may have in the case, you may want to bring those along to the mediation as well. There's a place here for any liability information that you may have. Maybe you have already secured some of your deposition excerpts or other liability information that you want to put in this section. There's a section here for your expert reports. You may want to bring along another copy of your demand letter and have it handy here in your mediation notebook. And then I like to have a place where I put my client information intake form in case I need any information off of that form uh, during the mediation. And then I also have a place here for any notes that I may want to take uh, throughout the mediation. And so to create your sections, whatever sections you may want to have for your particular notebook, you'll simply just click this plus section sign. And to create this new section, you'll want to name the section. And so once you create each section, then you'll want to create any pages or subsections that go along with that section. So to create this first section here, or page, I'm going to go back to my test notebook. And whenever you create a new section, a new page is automatically created. So now I can just name this page. 
And so now this is my new page in this particular section. And you'll wanna recreate these steps for all of the different sections that you wanna create in your notebook. Now I'm gonna go back over to my version of my notebook that we're also creating within our case file already in our law firm notebook. And I want to make this new section here as well. And I'm going to name it the same thing. Now I also want to create a sub page for this particular page section here. And so now I'm just going to click the plus page section to create a new page. And then I want to right click on this page now so that I can make this a sub page within my mediation notebook for this particular case. And I want to go back out so that I can get that same name and name it the same thing. And so now, as you can see, I am creating my notebook here within my case file, and it's a mirror image of the notebook template. And that is what you would use your notebook template for because you want your notebook template to remain in the same way that it is. You may make changes to your template at some point, but you want your template to be unchanged so that you can use it later on to create, to easily create other notebooks. And so now you would just wanna recreate these steps in both versions, either or both versions, until you have created all of the sections that you want in your particular notebook. Now that you have all of the sections that you want in your mediation notebook, now you can start working on your index. And so to create your index, all you have to do is go to the section. You start with your sections first. You right click on that section and you simply click copy link to section. Once you have that link, you wanna go over to your index. Now I like to create my index in two columns. So I'm gonna go and put a table in my index. It just makes it easier to do this so you, it's not going to make sense to you that I'm doing this but you want to go in there because you won't get a chance later to go back and do this to create a new line like this so we want to do this first and now I'm in the place where I want my first entry for my index to be reflected I'm going to right click and paste the link right there, okay? So now I have one column. Now I can kind of size this. I'm gonna go up to the view and do page width so that I can see what this looks like. All right, so now I have created a link for the section, but you also want to create a link for each page and sub page so that you can be able to go straight away to that particular place in your notebook just from going over to your index. And so you want to right click on that page or sub page, whatever the case may be. You want to click copy link. You want to go back to your index. Go ahead and delete that. You wanna to go to the place where you want that to be reflected, and then you wanna click paste. Now, this is a subsection of section one of tab one. So I wanna indent it a little bit. So I'm gonna go over to the home tab and I'm gonna click the index, uh, the indent button. And you'll recreate or redo this process until you have created all of the entries for your index. 
Now I'm going to demonstrate this once more by going over to the mediation notebook that we've created within our case file. So we're going to go over there. And now once here, I'm just going to go down to my first tab. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to click copy link. And then I'm going to go up to my index. I'm going to do the same steps. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to create that table that I like to have. If you go in here and just paste this link in here, you will not be able to get down to your next line. So that is the reason that I have found that uh, that it's useful just to do this in the beginning. And so now I can go to the place where I want the link to be displayed and click paste. And then I'm going to go up to view so that I can see the page width of this. All right. Then I'm going to go down to the next subsection of this section so that I can have that reflected on my index as well. I'm going to right click and click copy link to page. Go back to my index and I'm going to put that in the place where I want it right click and hit paste. Now I want to indent this as well. So I'm going to go up to my home tab and click the indent button. And so you just want to redo that over and over and over again. Redo these steps to create your mediation notebook template or your mediation notebook within your case file in your law firm notebook. So if you have any questions, please leave your questions or comments in the comments section below. Or if you might use this time saving and efficient technique in your next mediation, please let me know by leaving your comments in the comments section below. And I hope you'll also give me a big thumbs up. And I wanna ask you please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell so you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. And please also follow me on TikTok and Instagram. And if you'd like to schedule ProfessorBlackmore.com to add some spice, engagement, and interactive excitement to your next MCLE, CLE, or attorney litigation trial prep conference, or if you'd like to purchase a copy of Professor Blackmore's pre-made mediation notebook template, please visit me on my website at professorblackmore.com.